In Camera Raw, masking is the most powerful tool to control light and color in specific areas. Lightroom Classic uses the exact same masking system, so you can follow along no matter which app you use. Masking may look overwhelming at first, but each mask has a very clear purpose. When you open the masking panel, shortcut M, Camera Raw shows three intelligent AI masks at the top, subject, sky, and background. These are the strongest and most frequently used AI masks, and they work completely automatically. The other masks require manual control or selection by color, light, or range, so Adobe places them below. Subject, detects a person or an object. When the mask is created, Camera Raw overlays a color so you can see the selection clearly. You can change the overlay color depending on the image. The best use is separating the subject from the background for precise light and color adjustments. Sky. Detects the sky very accurately. You can boost the saturation or change the mood to pink, purple, or blue in just a few seconds. Background. The opposite of subject, selecting the entire background. Useful for reducing glare, darkening the scene for depth, or brightening for a glow effect. Landscape. Camera Raw automatically separates sky, mountains, water, and ground in landscape photos. For example, in this image I select the mountain area and add a bit of green to make it look fresher. Object. Use a brush or rectangle to select an object. Great for busy scenes or when subject mask does not detect the correct area. Brush. Manually paint the area you want to adjust. It includes size, feather, flow, and density, similar to Photoshop. Linear gradient. Creates a directional light and shadow transition. Here I drag from the bottom up to darken the foreground and add depth. Radial gradient. Creates an elliptical mask. Hold shift to make a perfect circle. Perfect for adding blush, boosting makeup, or placing a spotlight on the model. Range masks includes color range and luminance range. Color range selects a specific color, similar to Photoshop color range. Refine makes the selection smoother with less spill. Luminance range selects based on brightness. In this image, I select the bright areas, then lower the highlights and increase the clarity to make the photo sharper and bring back more detail. People Mask Camera Raw analyzes each person in the frame and separates areas like facial skin, body skin, eyebrows, eye sclera, iris and pupil, lips and hair. For example, choosing facial skin and reducing texture and clarity will smooth the skin instantly without Photoshop. Add a bit of grain to make the skin look more natural. We can select the lips to increase the red color. Select the iris to shift it to a blue tone. Or select the hair and reduce its saturation to make it look more natural. Camera Raw can also detect each person separately, making it easy to adjust individuals in group photos. 
That is how each mask works when used on its own. But for more precise editing, we also have advanced options that allow us to combine masks. Here we have Add and Subtract. Add is used to expand the current selection. For example, using a brush to paint more areas. Subtract removes areas you do not want in the mask. You can also rename masks, use invert to flip the selection, or create a reversed mask. Intersect mask. This one is very useful. For example, the current mask selects the subject. Now I choose intersect mask with and select radial gradient. When I drag the radial, the gradient only affects the intersection area, which is the subject itself. Linear gradient and brush work the same way with intersect. By brightening the gradient like this, the light becomes more natural and the selection is controlled more accurately. instead of brightening the entire subject and making it look artificial. Practical application. Let's start with this original RAW file. A quick basic setup helps create a solid foundation before using the masks. First, open the mask panel and select Sky. Lower the highlights and increase the tint and temperature to give the sky a sunset mood. Next, use a linear gradient to darken the lower part of the image, guiding the viewer's eye toward the main subject. Add another linear gradient on the right side to gently darken it and keep the focus on the center. Then use a radial gradient to create a highlight point. Raise the white slightly and add a warm tint for a natural glow. At this step, turn off auto reset so new masks keep the previous adjustments. The shortcut for radial gradient is J, so pressing J lets you create new mask layers quickly. Lower the amount if a softer effect is needed. Finally, add a touch of yellow highlight grading and reduce the brightness to create a softer, cinematic atmosphere. Now let's check the before and after, after applying all the masks. The sky becomes warmer, the foreground gains depth, and the highlights fall into the right places, making the image look more alive and much deeper overall. And here is the full before and after of the final blend for this photo. Just a few simple steps are enough to give the photo a complete mood. You can also copy this color edit, select all the masks, and paste them onto another photo. Camera Raw will automatically redetect the sky very accurately, while manual gradient masks will stay in their original positions so you may need to adjust them to fit the new image. Now you've seen how powerful masking can be, how it can transform the light, the colors, and the entire mood of an image. Like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. Thanks so much for watching till the end.